Good morning, everyone. Welcome to First Church of God in Christ. This is the Facebook live stream. We're so excited that you are joining us today. You are joining a church where everybody is somebody and you are with family. This is Youth Day. So if you are joining us, this is technically our Youth Day. So yes. we want to give a shout out to all the yes. youth that um, are a part of our First Church family. We also want to try something different today. As you are uh, listening to this service, I want you to do me a favor and I want you to post any throwback youth pictures that you have. Uh -oh. Post <laughs> any videos, throwback youth pictures. It doesn't have to be from 1980 or the <laughs> 1990s. It could be something that happened earlier this year or last year. Right. So please, sometime today, we have, if the Lord says the same, we have till 12 a.m. today. Post all day any throwback pictures that you have right. and videos. That's awesome. Also, it's been about a couple of weeks since we have seen you all, so we want to thank God right now for keeping us all safe. Yeah. Um, we want to thank God for providing for us and keeping us at this present time. We want to remind you that as, Lord, as long as the Lord says the same, we'll continue to be on Facebook um, these upcoming weeks, the next upcoming weeks, and then we have our Tuesday and Friday services, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that later. If you are listening via conference call, we ask that you please mute your phone so that everyone can enjoy the service. Without further ado, we will have prayer by one of our ministers or elders. God bless you. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now. Lord, we praise and magnify your name. Yes, God. Lord, we glorify you for all you've done. Lord, you watched over us last night, and you rose us up this morning with a reasonable portion of health and strength. And Lord, for this, we pause and say thank you. We say hallelujah, which is the highest praise. Lord, we give you glory above all, Lord, others. Lord, you are God and God by yourself. Lord, and we thank you right now. Lord, as we go into the furtherance of this service, Lord, we ask you to move us out of the way. Lord, let your Holy Spirit rule this service. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, the ones that are not able to come out today, bless them where they are, Lord, in the name of Haya, Baba Bahaya. Touch them, Lord, right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, touch our seniors. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you said our youth is renewed day by day, and we thank you right now. Lord, you said there's a peace in you. You said there's a rest in you. You said there remains a rest for the people of God. See that we enter into that rest. Lord, and we thank you for it right now. Bless our speaker on today. Yes. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for that prayer, Elder Moore. At this time, we will have our scripture by um, Sister Nike Aluko, who is one of our youth here at First Church. Yeah. Here we go. I will be reading Song, Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Amen. 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 Have a seat. Thank you. May the Lord had, uh, add a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of his word. Well, we've come to the part where everyone per can participate. And if you're just now joining us, we want to welcome you to the First Church of God in Christ in Wichita, Kansas Facebook live stream. We are back and we are happy to be with you one more time. At this time, we will have praise and worship led by our minister of music, Elder David Boss. Come on, can we celebrate Jesus today? Oh, come on, we can do better than that. It's been a long time since we've been back on here. 
Jesus still is the reason for any season. Uh, I'm going to do a song. Before that, I'm going to ask my boys to come and join me. I want my boys to come and stand right here. Can you celebrate them? Give them a hand. There's a song that um, I play in a car all the time, and um, you have no idea, right? Kids are learning when you don't think they're learning. Kids are listening, and you don't think they're listening. And so I played this song so much, and one time I was riding in the car, and uh, they began to sing this song. I didn't think they were paying attention to it. Uh, but the words of the song say this. I believe that we should have a message of hope in these times. Amen. Not death, hell, and damnation not at this point, right? We need some hope, and we need to know that the Lord's going to bring us through. So this is just a little song. We're going to sing just the chorus. It just says, I know that we're all going to be all right. We're going to make it through if it takes us all night. No matter what the odds may bring our way, I can feel the blessings coming my way. Can you feel the blessings coming your way? Pray for us. This is Jareth. This is Gavin. This is Lewis. I know that we're all going to be all right. We're going to make it through if it takes us all night. No matter what the odds may bring our way, I can see the blessings coming my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings, yo, blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings, yeah, blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming our way. I know that we're all going to be all right. Sing. We're going to make it through if it takes us all night. No matter what the odds may bring our way, I can see the blessings coming our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings, oh, blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming our way. Blessings, oh, blessings, yeah. I can see the... One more time, I know. I know that we're all going to be all right. We're going to make it through if it takes us all night. No matter what the odds may bring our way, I can see the blessings coming our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings, oh, blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming my way. Blessings, oh blessings, yeah, I can see the blessings coming my way. Blessing, blessings, oh blessings, yeah, I can see the blessings coming my way. Blessings, yeah, blessings, yeah, I can see the blessings coming my way. Amen. Can you give them a hand? Sure enough, you got to keep faith and believe that the blessing of the Lord, COVID hasn't stopped the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Unemployment hasn't stopped the blessings of the Lord. All these things that are going on has not stopped the blessings of the Lord. And this song says, First Church, you're very familiar with it, so I need y'all to at home put your hands together. Do y'all have praise service at home? Amen. Amen. I hope that we have not stopped feeling the touch of the Lord because we can't gather here at the church. Amen? Amen. Because God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. And so if you're at home and you begin to worship and praise God, you can feel the presence of God even in your home. Praise God. But this song says, I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Anybody got a reason out there? Y'all that are here in the sanctuary, I need y'all to come on and get with me. <laughs> Thank God for these musicians being here today. Oh, when I was down and out, Jesus, you brought me out and I've got a reason. Whoa, oh, when I was deep in sin, had no peace within, I got a reason. Whoa, oh, when I was down and out, Jesus, you brought me out, I've got a reason. Woo, yay. Hey, when I was deep in sin, had no peace within, I've got a reason, my Lord. 
Hey, come on, I'll praise him with my hands. Woo. I'll praise him in the dance. Hey, I'll praise him with my voice. I'll praise him. That's my choice. I'll praise him with my hands. Come on, I'll praise him. Woo. In the dance, hey, I'll praise him with my voice. I'll praise him, that's my choice. I'll praise him, I'll praise him. Yes, I'll praise him. Woo. Yes, I'll praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's been too good. I gotta praise him. He's been too good. I gotta praise him. He woke me up early this morning. I woke me up early this morning. I got eyes to see. I got eyes to see. I got ears to hear. Woo! I got ears to hear. I got legs to walk. Hey, I got legs to walk. I got eyes to see. I got eyes to see. That's why I praise him. That's why I praise him. In spite of COVID, I'm going to praise him. In spite of sickness, I'm going to praise him. Times may be rough, but I'm going to praise him. I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall be in my mouth. I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall woo, be in my mouth. Hey, yes, I'll praise him. Yes, I'll praise him. Come on. Yes, I'll praise him. Woo, yes, I'll praise him. I dare you to praise him. Woo, I dare you to praise him. Woo, in the midst of your struggle, I dare you to praise him. Hey, in the midst of your trials, I dare you to praise him. I guess I'll praise him. Yeah, hey, 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 yes, I'll praise him. Woo, yes, I'll praise him. I'm determined to give God praise. I'm encouraged to give God praise. You sitting at home, come on and praise the Lord. In the sanctuary, I'm going to praise him. On my job, I'm going to praise him. Walking down the street, yes, I'll praise him. I'm going to praise him. Woo! I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. Release your praise. Release your praise. Release your praise unto the Lord. Hey, when I was down and out, Jesus, you brought me out and I've got a reason. Yes, I'll praise him. Yes, I'll praise him. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Yes, I'll praise him. I'm going to shout for Jesus. I'm going to sing for Jesus. I'm going to clap for Jesus. Because he's so worthy. 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 Yes, I'll praise him. When I was down and out, Jesus, you brought me out, and I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Ha, hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, it's all right to praise him. God is truly worthy to be praised. We thank God and we're so grateful for allowing us to be here today. If you are joining us for the first time, we want to welcome you. If you don't know about First Church, we are a praising church. 
And so God has allowed us to have a few representatives here today joining us in service. And so it's starting, it sounded like it does when we normally are here all together. So those of you that aren't here, we know that you're with us in spirit. And uh, we are thinking of you and praying for you at this time. Next, we are going to have our announcements Um We want to recognize all of the July birthdays that are happening this month, anniversaries, happy birthday, happy anniversary. We also want to recognize any celebrations. We know that we haven't had a chance to be together, so there have been people that have celebrated birth of new babies. There have been other celebrations that we want to honor at this time. We also want to... uh, Keep in mind and in prayer are sick and shut in. We want to continue to pray for them, those that we maybe can't get to at this time and that have been on our sick and shut in list. We want to remind you that if you would like to worship in giving, you can still do so. You can do that online at www.firstkojic.com. That is www.1st. C-O-G-I-C dot com. You can also drop off your tithes and offering here at the church. We are just asking that you uh, just drop them in the box and we will have uh, a board of trustee member that will able to that will be able to grab them. We are honoring social distancing at this time. So if you do happen to bring your uh, tithes and offering this way, we request that you keep your mask on. And then again, just drop your tithes and offering in in the box and someone will get that for you. We also want you to keep in mind other announcements throughout the week. There are several times where you can still connect with us in service online, and that is Tuesdays and Friday mornings for our Friday morning prayer and morning manna. So you can catch that on Facebook Live, or you can catch it later in the day on YouTube. You can also catch the service later today on YouTube. Also, uh, the youth. This is Youth Sunday. Uh, We want to make sure you know that we have several upcoming events that are planned. So I believe starting Tuesday, June 28th, um, our youth, we want you to join us through Zoom. This will be a time to kind of reconnect and catch up and also encourage one another and pray for each other. We hope our youth have been enjoying their summer thus far, staying safe and healthy, and we just want a chance to reconnect, as I said, and encourage each other. Um, I believe that Uh, coincides all of our announcements at this point in time. Again, if you are just now joining us, welcome. You're at the First Church of God in Christ Facebook live stream, and you are, again, joining a church where everybody is somebody, and you are with family. At this time, we are getting ready to hear from our pastor. Let's give our pastor a hand and his wife. They lead our church together, and we are so grateful to have them. Um, Our pastor will be bringing the word on today, so if you haven't already, make sure you grab a pen, pencil, paper, or get your phone to take some notes. I'm sure he has a word from the Lord that will encourage your heart. But before he comes, we will have a sermonic solo from our youth minister and... um, Minister of Music, Elder Boss. Let's say amen for him. One more time. Can we celebrate the Lord? Amen. Come on. Can we celebrate the Lord? <laughs> I'm so glad that Sister Chris was pumping up Youth Day because typically uh, when we're all here in the sanctuary, t- t- every third Sunday, for those of you who are watching, if you're not a member of First Church, every third Sunday is Youth Day. And we believe in um, not letting our youth just come and be spectators. We let them participate in the services, um, not just on Third Sunday, but especially on Third Sunday. They come and they can exhibit their talents and their God-given talents and their abilities that God has given them just to participate in the house. We want them to have a love for the house of God. Amen. Uh, So parents, we're urging you that when we do come back together, continue to bring your youth. If, If you're not 
until we come back together, let them watch the Sunday morning services uh, as on Sunday morning. And also we have the jurisdictional prayer services uh, Sunday, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Wake your kids up and uh, let them pray. And it's, it is beautiful that, that kids pray for each other. That's what they do. And they testify to each other. So we have a lot going on for our youth because they haven't been to the house of God since March. And that's a long time. We haven't been to the house of God since March. That's a long time to keep them busy. And I, one, one more thing for us thing. Um, parents, if you need resources, uh, things for your children to do while they're out of school in the summer, uh, you can contact myself, Sister Crystal. Uh, you, you may know somebody, friends and family, anybody in the school district. You can call them, and they can give you some resources, some activities and programs for your children to do um, in spite of COVID-19. And I said all that because this song says simply, I'm still here, right? So many people have died from COVID. Hospitals are filled, and you guys probably have relatives or loved ones that are sick or whatever, not just with COVID, other things that are going on. Uh, but this song says, Lord, I'm still here, Sister Lisa. And I realize I'm only here because it's only by the grace of God, not because I'm so good, not because I'm so perfect, not because I can quote 2,000 scriptures and all that. I'm still here because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And take this personally. Listen to the words and, and take it personally. Ooh. When I look back over my life and I see all the things God's done for me. Listen, I've been through danger, heartache, and trouble. But I thank the Lord, He rescued me. I could have been dead and gone what about you but the lord he spared spared my life now i can say that i'm still here and it's by the grace the grace of god celebrating when 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 I look back over my life <laughs> I love it and I see all of the things the Lord has brought me through I've been through sickness trials and suffering yeah but I thank the Lord, he's blessed me still. I could have lost the faith, could have. And I could have fallen from God's grace. Ooh. But I can't say. That I'm still here and it's by the grace, mm, the grace of God. Woo! Hallelujah. I realize it's no goodness of my own. I'm still here. What about you? Hallelujah. Oh, because God's favor has been shown. Woo. I'm still here. Oh. Now, every day hasn't been perfect. I want you to know that I've been through disappointments. <laughs> Pastor, but the Lord brought me through. Yes, he did. 
First Lady Sherry. I can't say. What did he do? He brought me all the way. Hallelujah. Hey. Through the midst of it all, through the midst of it all, I can say that I'm still here. Oh, I see. It's by the grace. Oh, the grace of God. No goodness of my own. I am still here. Oh, and it's by the grace. Yeah. Mm. When I look back over my life, I could have been dead and gone, but I'm still here. Oh, and it's only by by the grace of God I've never had COVID-19 never been sick in a hospital but I am still here hey it's by the grace of God many times the devil tried to take me out but I am still here Woo! and it's only by the grace and it's only by the grace and it's only by only by the grace of God touch yourself and say I'm still here Woo. you ought to give God some praise to know that you're still here thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord I am still here Woo. hallelujah and it's only by yay yay it's by the grace of God that's the only reason I can say I'm still here Woo. Pastor, I'm still here. Sister Gray, I'm still here. Sister Lisa, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Hey, that's why I praise him, Sister Crystal, because I'm still here by the grace, the grace, the grace, the grace of God. Oh, 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 oh. I am. Hallelujah. It's only by the grace. By the grace, by the grace, by the grace of God, oh, I am. Ooh, hallelujah. It's by the grace of God. Come on and praise Him. You're still here. You're still here. You're still here. You're still here. Hallelujah. You're still here. By the grace of God, in and out, you're still here. Only by the grace of God. God bless you. Come on, let's give God some praise. Those that are here right now, come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, let's give God some praise. Those you feel like it, can you just stand and give God some praise? Come on, come on, let's just give God some praise. Wherever you at this morning, give God some praise. Those in your home, give God some praise. You may be in your car. Give God some praise. God deserve all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. It belongs to God. Regardless of how I think or feel, God is yet worthy to be praised. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we magnify you. God, we exalt your name. For your name is worthy to be praised. And Lord, we're here by the grace of God. Nothing that I did, oh God, caused me to be here, God. But Lord, it's by your grace. And Lord, we give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. And we give you all the praise for being here one more time in the house of God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. You may be seated. Let's give God another hand of praise. Amen. On this morning. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his outstretched hand. I say to myself, I say that so many times, but it's so true. God is merciful. God is kind. And he has an outstretched hand that reaches out to us. And I thank God for that. And I thank God because his hand reaches out to me. Amen. So many times, one scripture said, my feet almost slip. See, when I think about it, I get happy. There's been times since I've been saved that my feet have almost slipped. But God, with his outstretched hand, he was there to hold me by my hand and pull me back up. And I, I can't testify some, like some, some may say they've never been there, but I've been there. I'm not bragging about it, 
But I've been there, but each time he pulled me out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out hallelujah. I thank God for saving me, and I celebrate my salvation. We give honor to God and to uh, our ministers and missionaries and mothers and to the saints of God for those that are here, those that are not here. Many can't be here at this time, but we thank God for the ones that's here on this morning. You look good to me. Amen. 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 You look good to me, and we thank God for uh, you being here. And we also thank God for our audience, whoever you may be, who take the time each week to follow us, and when we wasn't able to be with you, I heard about it. You was looking for us, and that made me feel good because it let me know that what we're doing is not in vain. And it's not just First Church, but the churches of God everywhere are reaching out to the people of God. God made sure he knows what he's doing. Amen. He made ways for us still to have church away from the church. Amen. Then when we're able to come to church, to the house of God, because we are the church we are the church, but when we're able to come to the house of God and praise him together, that makes it even better. But we thank God for each of you. I'm going into the word of God, but I also thank God for my lovely wife, Sister Sherry Crowley. Give her a hand. Thank God for her. The best thing that ever happened to me outside of Jesus. Amen? Amen. And I thank God for her more and more. I praise God for her. But God has a word for us on today, and I want to go into God's word. And we've been trying to come with words of encouragement. As Ella Boss said, we hear so much uh, discouragement and so much in the news and whatever. And these, these things are real and they're reality. And I'm the type of person, I don't run from these things. They're real, but we have to deal with them. Amen? Now, I don't want to talk about them all the time. I don't want to talk about it all the time, and we don't need to, but we do have to deal with where we're at. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we praise God because he's with us. But my lesson today, or uh, my subject today, or uh, the word that God has given me today is the power of waiting on God. The power of waiting on God. One more time. The power of waiting on God. One more time. Will you say with me? The power of waiting on God. There's power in waiting on God. I have found power and strength in waiting on the Lord. Waiting is not always easy. We get impatient in waiting. We don't like to wait for our ride to arrive or for our food to be served and even for our prayers to be answered. But let us not forget that the Bible promised us there's power to those who patiently wait upon the Lord. Now, if you notice, there's a key word in there. There's many key words, and I'm not going to break them all down because it would take too long. But there's a key word in there. It said patiently. It's how you wait. Many people are waiting, but they're not waiting patiently. Many times I waited. Thank God for Missionary Moore being here. Many times Missionary Moore, I have waited. But I did not wait patiently. I was upset. I, was, I had an attitude. Because I want it right now. And let's be honest. Sometimes we have an attitude. Just like that child when they can't have what they want, and you say, no, you can't have it right now, and they throw a little fit. Now, they get away with it now, but back in the day, I don't have this written down, but back in the day, you didn't get, you didn't get away with it. Your mother gave you a reason to have a fit because they were trying to teach you that everything that you want right now, you can't have it right now. And they were trying to teach us a lesson about reality of life. You cannot have everything you want when you want it. And so you have to learn how to wait and wait patiently so you can enjoy the things that you do have. There's many things around us that we do have. Enjoy the things that you do have. I have a bicycle. Lord, thank God I can ride my bicycle. A few weeks ago, we was inside the house, and we wasn't going out too much. And I thought, well, you know what? Since I'm not going out right now, what can I do? God still wants us to enjoy life. So he let me know you got a stationary bike down there in the basement. Bring it up. And I brought it up. He gave me the strength to bring it up by myself. It's kind of heavy. Brought it up and put it in our, uh, our den. And, I, and, and it came to me, why are you riding your bike? You can watch TV. Why are you riding your bike? You can read. Why are you riding? You still, you're not outdoors where you want to be, but you're inside. But you can still enjoy the things that I have provided while you're waiting. We have to learn how to wait. And wait patiently upon the Lord. Wait upon his promises. God gave me this message because he wanted me to encourage those that are here and those that are listening. We're tired of waiting. 
We're tired of COVID-19. We're tired that we can't go where we want to go. We can't do the things we want to do. But there's nothing we can do about it. So we just have to learn how to wait. But while we're waiting, to enjoy the promises of God. The promise of God that he has shared with you and told you that he's going to do. The promise of God that he's already done. If he kept you today, that's a promise. If he sustained you today, that's a promise. If you're able to get out the bed, that's a promise he said he would give you strength. There it is. Amen. He said he will sustain you. That's another promise. He said he will be with you. That's another promise. You may feel lonely, but you're not alone. That's another promise. Why are you waiting upon the Lord? You have to remember his promises. Oh, if I didn't have the word of God, oh, I tell you, I don't know what I would do. But when I go back and I read God's word, when I get tired of waiting, Sister Crystal, and I read God's word, it encourages me, it strengthens me, and it gives me the endurance to wait on him. Amen. I love this scripture. I'm getting ready to, to give you Isaiah 40 and 31. I love this scripture. The Lord gave this to me when I was a teenager. And many things God have done for me since that time. But you know what? I had to wait on him. At that time when God gave it to me, Sister Moore, I don't know what I was waiting on, but I was waiting on something and it, it hadn't came yet. And God gave me this scripture and God did many of the things that he said he would do. But guess what? I'm still waiting on him, not on that particular thing, but there's other things I'm waiting on God to do. I'm waiting for this to be over. I'm waiting for God to lift this. I know that God can do it and I'm praising him that he's going to do it. But until then... I'm going to praise and I'm going to magnify and exalt his name while I wait. As if 4031 says, but they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. He shall renew their strength. If he's renewing something, that means you don't have it. Am I right? But the Bible said, let the weak say that I'm what? How about Sean? When I'm weak, the Bible says, say that I am strong. You may feel weak. Sometimes I feel weak, but the Bible says, say that I'm strong. Don't say it because you feel it. You don't feel it. But say it because you believe it, and I guarantee if you keep on saying it, if you keep on saying, Lord, you are my strength. Lord, give me the strength that I need to do the things I need to do. Lord, give me the strength to be able to function and even to do the things that is so simple most days, but today I, can, I feel like I can't do it. Lord, give me the strength to do it. And I guarantee if you believe God and stand on his word, Strength will come. As I shared with the saints, I was at the gym one day and I was working out on one of the machines and I didn't really have the strength. Amen. But I was on the machine and it's literally like I felt somebody's hand. I didn't see nothing, but I seemed like I felt somebody's hand and it pushed me. And when I felt the push, I said, Lord, that's you. There's a song that we used to sing in the church that somebody touched me and I know it was Jesus. By the touch, see, his touch is different than any other touch. With his touch came some strength. After I felt the push, the strength came. There's been other times when I was so weak, and all at once I felt an energy of strength just come. I said, Lord, that's you. He said he would do it. Listen to this. But they that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Listen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. An eagle is strong. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Out of all the birds, there's no birds like the eagle. Amen. And one day I'm going to preach on the eagle. He has strength. One reason he has strength, he has wisdom. He, don't, he, he uses strength at the right times. Even the eagle himself knows how to wait. He knows how to wait on his prey. They tell me the eagle is so strong, he can go and he can take an animal and just lift it up by the plow and, and, and take it on up. But he don't do it. I was told, and I read, an eagle sometimes wait on that one, that animal that's kind of feeble, that animal that don't have much strength. And that's the one he goes for. Why do he do that? But so he don't want to use all of his strength. The eagle knows when to fly. He knows when to soar. He knows how to ride the storm out. He knows how to do these things. Why? Because he's an eagle. He's with, he has wisdom. He knows how to wait. If you, if you watch the eagle in the tree, he just, he just, He's in the, on that big limb, and he's just watching. Even when he goes to get the fish out of the, uh, 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 the sea or wherever it's at, it don't just go. It waits. What is he waiting for? He's waiting for the right time. The right time. God has promised us many things, but we have to, right, we have to wait on the right time. Amen. Don't go before the Lord. Wait on him. Be like the eagle. And it said, they shall run and not be weary. 
and they shall walk and not faint. You may not can run right now, but keep on waiting on God. God will give you strength to run. He will give you strength to walk. He will give you strength to continue this journey with the Lord. This is a wonderful journey, but sometimes we get tired. We get tired sometimes. We get weary sometimes. That's why that scripture's here. God knows. I'm looking at Sister Moore this morning, but I remember a scripture she gave years ago now. It said, write the vision. Make it plain. I get happy every time I think about it. Though it tarry, listen to that. Though it tarry, wait on it. Wait on it. Seem like it's not coming, but you wrote the vision. God gave you the dream. Missionary Moore, you don't know how many times that has, has encouraged me. Because God took me back to the vision. He took me back to the dream. And before I know, and while you're waiting on that, you're yet walking. You're yet going forward. You're yet doing what God told you to do. You don't feel like it, Sister Sherry, but you keep on doing it. You don't feel like going no further, but you keep on doing it. You don't have the strength, but you keep on doing it. There's a press down on the inside. And before you know it, it's done. Before you know it, God has promised. And the promise he gave you, it has been fulfilled. There's some things my wife wanted, and I haven't really shared these things with her yet. Some things years ago she said she wanted, and I'm watching God do it. I'm going to sit down one day, and we just, I'm going to go over all of it. I'm just watching. God says, not time yet. I see God fulfilling it. In the midst of the storm. In the midst of the trials. In the midst of the going through. In the midst of it. We want God to do it, but see, a lot of times he does it in the midst of the storm. When, the, when it's storming, the God don't move. When the eagle see that storm, God don't move the storm. But he gives the eagle how to ride the storm. He gives the eagle how to go above the storm. He'll do the same for you. Listen to this. God oft, often used waiting to refine our character. Did you hear that? God often uses waiting to refine our character. I don't know about you. I know about me. <laughs> waiting helps us learn the vital lesson that just because it's a dream and it's the delay doesn't mean it's denied. Did you get that? I'm going to say it again. God often used waiting to refine our character. Waiting helps us learn the vital lesson that just because a dream is delayed does not mean that it is denied. We as saints, we got to get that. We that are listening, whoever you are today, we have to get this. Because it's delayed don't mean it's, de it's denied. If God promised you a wife, if God promised you a husband, if God promised you a house, if God promised you a car, if God promised you good health, if God promised you whatever he has promised you, it may be delayed. But it's not denied. God showed me. I don't mean to bring up everything, but I'm giving my testimony. I remember when I was in school and all the boys and all the girls and teen, when I was a teenager in high school, they all had a girlfriend. See, like everyone had a boy. Everyone had someone's arm to, to lean on. Everybody was connected to somebody. And I didn't have nobody. I was trying to live safe and do what the Bible say. They said no sex. They said no drugs. They said no this. They said no this. They said no this. God's word said no. And it's like everybody was having a good time. They was going to the parties. They was doing anything. God said, wait on me. And he said, if you wait on me while you're young in your adult life, I'm going to bless you. And I waited on God from that time until we got married. I know I got married young, but I waited on God. I'm trying to share something with you. If you wait on God and, 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 and the blessing you're asking for, it may be delayed. But if you wait on him, it'll come. It'll come whether it's natural Physical, spiritual, mental, emotional, whatever you waited on, if you wait on God, it'll come. I mean, I was just looking for a car a few years ago, maybe a year ago now, and I just found a car, and that's not what I really wanted, but I was going to settle for it because it was nice. And Jacob said, Daddy, if you just wait a little while, let me look a little bit, I'll find you something. And I'm driving what I'm driving now is what I really wanted. The thing is, you have to learn how to wait. What are you waiting on? What are you believing God for? What have you asked God for? What is it? Whatever it is, wait on him. What is your dream? What do you want to do? Wait on God. When we continue to hope patiently and place our trust in God and his schedule, say his schedule. 
his schedule, not ours, we begin to gain the type of long range per perspective, long range. The Lord gave me that word long range. I wanted to erase it. I wanted to delete it from the message. He said, no, put it back in there. Be honest with the people. Some things we wait on, it's a long range. It's a long time coming. Ever still, I tried to take it out two or three times, and he said, put it back in there. Put it back in there. Long range. Be honest with the people. Let them know everything's not going to come instant. Instant oatmeal, instant grits, instant eggs. Everything's not going to come instant. And sometimes I want the real thing. I made a peach pie the other day out of fresh pe peaches. I use pe uh, uh, canned peaches. The canned peaches are good, but they don't take the place of the other ones. You can make it, you can come up with your own, do, buy the store dough and all that kind of stuff, but it don't beat the real thing. But the real thing takes time. Hey, so it's not, your, it's not your schedule. And something's a long time coming, but wait on God. That allow the, the long range perspective, it teaches us how to be patient. And, and as we learn how to be patient, and rest in God and enter in his rest. He said there's a rest for the people of God. As we enter in that rest, we will be peaceful in him while we're waiting. Even when we're in the storms of life, or even when the, life, the storms of life are raging in our lives with God, we can wait out the storm and see the sun breaking through the clouds. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Say joy comes in the morning. When we trust in God, we will eventually see the rainbow and the rebirth of our hopes and dreams. I was thinking about the song that Ella Ball sang so many times here in church. He said, I see a rainbow in the sky. I don't know about you, but every time he sings that song, my soul get happy. Because I know what the rainbow signifies. And we have storms in our life. When God did this, let's go back to Noah. When God did it, it, they had just came out of a storm. 40 days and 40 nights. It was a storm. They came out of the storm. Water filled everything. Water was so high, even, it was higher than the trees. It was higher to, to the mountains. Everything was flooded except those that was in the, in, in the boat. There was a mighty storm. And they had to stay in. We don't like staying in. But they had to stay in a boat with animals. With things not being convenient, they had to stay in there even though God was protecting them. Listen, he was sustaining them. He was blessing them. He was keeping them alive. But do you think they enjoyed being in that boat for 40 days and 40 nights? No, they did not. But they stayed there. Then after, go read your Bible, after the storm passed, then God said they still had to stay in the boat. I don't know how many days now. Go read your Bible. It's in there. But I want to give you the right number. So since I don't know right now, go, you go read. But they had to stay in the boat. God sent out a bird to go more than once. And then when the bird came back with the leaf, then God let them know later they could come out. They had to stay afterwards. It's kind of like what we're going through now. A few weeks ago, things was looking better. Now things are looking bad again. Lord, when are we going to come out of this? But we're going to wait on you. Woo. So they waited, they waited, and they waited. And finally, there was a rainbow. Beautiful rainbow. The first rainbow they had ever seen. Never seen a rainbow before. I love to see the rainbow. And God let them know that I will never flood the whole world. Now, there's times there are floods. But he said, I'll never flood the whole world. To the, to the extent he did that time. And he never has. There's been floods, but he has never flooded the whole world. God kept his promise. So when I look at the rainbow, Ella Balls, I'm not thinking about Noah them in the, in, on the boat and all that. I'm thinking about what I'm going through. I'm thinking about my storm. I'm thinking about what's going on in my life. But when I hear you sing that song, and a lot of times I'm sitting right there, but I hear that song, and I'm going through something, but we say, God has a rainbow in the sky. So that tells me, Lord, you know what? You're going to deliver me from this, and you're going to bring me out. Prove it by the word of God. 
Galatians 6 and 9 says, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, at the appointed time, we shall reap if we faint not. Because they got in the boat, because they waited on God, they was able to see the rainbow. There was others that did not get on the boat. There was others that laughed and said it never rained before. There was others that said, we're not going to do this. We're not going to be with you. We're not going to join you. This is not going to happen. What happened to them? They did not get to enjoy the blessings of God as they did because they waited on God and they did it God's way. Say it's a blessing in waiting on God. Say there's power in waiting on God. So, Sister Sherry, Missionary Moore, Ella Scott, Scotty, Brother Gray, Sister Gray, Ella Boss, Sister Lisa, Ella Moore, Ella Stidhams, and all of you all that are watching today, whatever you're waiting for, whatever you believe in God for, continue to wait on God. There's a rainbow. You may not see it at the natural eyes, but ask God to give you spiritual eyes to see the beautiful rainbow. Amen. It's the promise of God's word. And the God's promises are yes and amen. Remember the good things come to those that wait. Psalm 62, 1, 2, and 5 says, Truly my soul waits upon God. From him comes my salvation. In other words, my deliverance. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. He had to tell me that yesterday. He is my defense and he will fight for you. Whatever it is that you need him to fight for. Whatever you need him to do for you, he will fight for you. I shall not be greatly moved. Did you see that? It said greatly moved. So that means sometimes there's things that move us. But Sister Christian, I brought that message a few weeks ago and you loved it about the palm tree. When there's a storm, the palm tree, it do go back and forth. And the bread, it does its, it does its thing. But it ain't going nowhere. It's going to stand. It may look like it's going somewhere, but it's not going nowhere. It's going, and it, it just waves the storm. It, I'm seeing it in my mind. It just waves the storm. It waves the storm. But when the storm is over, it's still standing. It's still standing. And the Bible said that we're like palm trees. And it said we are flourish in the house of the Lord. We're waiting because we know the storm is going to pass over. So you may move but you will not be greatly moved. My soul, wait thou only upon God. Why? For my expectation is in him. What I'm expecting, I'm expecting him to give it to me because I realize that you can't give it to me. As much as you love Sister Stidham's, there's some things you can't give her. As much as she loves you, there's some things you can't give him. But my expectation is in him. Let's give God a hand praise. Come on, y'all. I'm happy. Woo. Isaiah 64 and 4 says, For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eyes seen, O God, beside thee, what he, what he has prepared for him that wait for him. You don't have, you don't, you cannot even Imagine the things God has for you if you just wait on him. Don't you know, and those that are here today and the ones we're talking to today, haven't it been many times that it was something you was waiting on? Let's be honest. And we jumped at it. We jumped at the thing that came before the thing we was really waiting for. And then we found out the thing we jumped for was not what God had for us. And then when it did happen, it was right you said, if I would have just waited another week, another month, a few more years, we've all been there, I could have had this. You may have it now, but you say, I wouldn't have had to go through all the things I went through to get what I'm receiving, but I wasn't willing to wait. I'm willing, willing to wait. I'm willing, willing to wait. Willing to wait on, wait on the Lord Almighty. My Bible tells me he's coming again. Just like he said he would. Not just the coming of the Lord, but he's going to come and bless you with that thing you're waiting for. But you have to keep on waiting upon him. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 says, but as it is written, here it is, eyes have not seen nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of men, man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. 
That's not just in heaven. It's talking about heaven too, but it's not just heaven. Even on this side, say on this side, y'all. On this side, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have it entered the hearts of men. The things God has prepared for you on this side. We're going to live twice, y'all. We're living on this side and we're living in heaven. When I'm on this side, heaven, I'm living because I have him. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have it in the hearts of men. The things that God has prepared for you on this side, joy unspeakable and full of glory, peace that passes all understanding, a love that you can't comprehend, health and strength, whatever you need, you can find it in God, happiness when everybody else is sad, joy when everybody else is down, Peace when everybody don't know what to do. You have peace. It's real. It's happening. But God is keeping you because he said he would do it on this side. You can't even imagine. Now, that's what the Bible said. Now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask the thing according to the power that worketh in us. Sometime I'm not going to share on today, but sometimes I look at the things that God has blessed us with and blessed me with over the years. And I ain't talking about material things. Ooh. If I could go into details of the things that God has done, I said, Lord, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative. If you take me the day, I'm not ready to go right now, but if you take me the day, God, you have kept your promises. You have done everything that you said you would do, and whatever you do now is just extra. And I praise you for it. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have any in the hearts of men. The things God has prepared for you. But you have to wait on him. These are the promises of God as we wait upon him. We can hold on to them. We can stand on them. Please listen. We can declare them. We can proclaim them. They are for you. God gave me a message through Ella Stidham. I'm not going to share it on today. But I'm going to bring it. Praise God. Say praise God. Praise God. Woo, but you know what you got to do? You have to declare. Say declare. declare. Say proclaim. Say, believe God's word. Say, stand. Why are you waiting? You're believing God. The children of Israel was at the Red Sea. Praise God. The sea, the Red Sea was in front of them. They didn't know what to do. Amen. They wanted to run, but there was nowhere to go. They looked back, and they seen the enemy. And, and Moses said, stand still, that means to wait, and see the salvation of the Lord. How is God going to do this? I'm getting ready to end this. How is God going to do it? The Red Sea is before us. The enemy's behind us. And you telling us to stand still. That do not make no sense. That do not make no sense. You telling me to stand still and see salvation, see deliverance. I don't see nothing. All I see is that Red Sea before me. All I see is the enemy, all those soldiers behind me. All I see, oh, no, 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 the, the old shundo. All I see is trouble. All I see them destroying me. All I see them killing me. All I see them slaying me. All I see. All I see myself drowning in that sea because there's nowhere for me to go. What are you talking about, Moses? You're not making sense. But he said, stand still. Wait on me. <laughs> see the salvation. God didn't tell him what he was going to do. He just said, stand still. Then God told him after he obeyed the blessing. You said this so many times. The blessing comes after the obedience. He obeyed. He looked to God. God told him to take the rod, stretch it out toward the sea. He did what God said. As he stretched it out, the sea began, the water began to roll back. I see it, I see it. The water began to roll back. Hallelujah. And even then, let's tell the story right. Even then, God didn't, they didn't go across right then. They didn't go across right then. But God put a, a, shunder, a wall between them where the enemy couldn't come get them. Where the enemy couldn't do nothing. And while the wall was there, they couldn't do nothing. God breathed on it. He dried the sea. He dried the land. Not the sea. He dried the land. Thank you, Sister Ray. He dried the land. Now, God could have did it. Just say, this is it. And that's it. But he was teaching them the importance of waiting. He was teaching them the power and waiting on him. He was showing them that through waiting, there is power. Through waiting, you see my manifestation. And as they were standing there, Standing there watching, they seen all this. They seen it. They seen God do all this. And then God said, now it's time to march. 
Now it's time to go. The sea is dry. I've done what I said I was going to do. I've shown you my wonders. Now you are to experience my wonder and start walking. And they begin to walk across the Red Sea. Hey, hallelujah. They begin to walk across the Red Sea. And after they all had came over, there was thousands of them. And the enemy couldn't do nothing but watch them. <laughs> hallelujah. And they marched. And after the last one came across the sea, God let the waters come back. And God even let them, let them begin to go. They begin to go, in the, they begin to go in, in the middle of the sea. They thought, we got them now. We got them now. Oh, we got them now. We got them. Then God let the waters just come back. Drowned Pharaoh and his army in the sea. And then Myron took the tamarind. And the ladies began to praise and dance and magnify the Lord. It's all because they waited on God. So declare it. Proclaim it. Stand on it, and God will give you power. He will give you strength. You will mount up with wings of eagles. Just like the eagles, you will mount up with wings of eagles. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint because you have learned the secret in waiting on God. Woo! Be blessed. Enjoy the power of God. Why are you waiting? Learn to enjoy his power. I'm trying to close, but why are you waiting? I'm waiting for us to come back to our churches. I'm waiting for things to be back as they were. I don't need your son of Bahia. I'm declaring that I'm still telling another day, be, be careful what you say. So I would get ready to say something, but I'm not going to say that. Oh, my, my son, I'm declaring God going to let things be back at the Didio son. I'm declaring things on my, my, my son, things going to be well. I'm declaring it. Not by what I see, not by what I feel, not what I hear on the news, but I'm declaring what God's word says. I'm declaring I'm a winner on this side and the other side. So whatever side I'm on, I'm yet a winner. I'm declaring it. Woo! How about how did the old Sunday? This message will to me. I'm learning the secret and waiting on God. I'm believing God for healings, not just for me, but for the, the saints of God. Oh, I'm believing God for deliverance. I'm believing God for do great things. Someone say he haven't done it yet. Keep on waiting. And while you're waiting, keep on marching. And when you can't do nothing else, the Bible said, when you're done all you know to do, stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Be blessed. Enjoy the power of God. Even though I can't be here at church, the Lord comes down and he blesses me. And he, oh, I had up a CD. I'm learning to enjoy his presence even in the midst of my storm. He won't let me say what I want to say. Oh, but just enjoy his power, which dwells in you as you wait upon the Lord. We say to you today as we close, much more I could share with you, but my time is up. But we thank God for you on today, whoever listened on today, those that are here and those that are listening. My heart goes out to you on today. And I just want to encourage you to, to continue to wait on God. It may seem like he's not coming. And those, those, those feelings are real. But don't let your emotions dictate to you that God is not going to do what he said he was going to do. I know I'm going back to what she said many years ago, but write the vision. You have already wrote it. The ones I'm talking to today, you have already wrote the vision. You've already made it plain to God. But let's be honest, it hasn't came yet. Some of those things have not, some have, but there are others that haven't came yet. But keep on waiting. He said, though it tarry, wait on it. And while you're waiting, God will do that that he said. Don't give up. Don't stop. Don't throw in the towels. Continue to wait on God. And while you're waiting on him, you will see the power of God in your life. You will see the manifestation of God. Whoever you are today that want to be saved, you repeat this prayer after me. Whoever want to be restored, want to come back to God, whatever you need from God, pray along with me, and God will do it. Not just those that want to be saved, but whatever it is you're waiting on God for, whatever you've asked God for, ask him. And if you've already asked him, it comes a time where you thank him for it. Even before you see it, thank him. Thank him in advance. God, we thank you right now for your many blessings. Lord, we ask today that you forgive my sins, that you cleanse me, that you wash me, that you make me whole, that you take everything out of me that's not like you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I believe that you are the son of God. I believe you came and you died on the cross and you, you gave your life for me. I believe that on the third day you was raised from the dead with all power in your hand. And the power you now have and you had even before then, hallelujah, even you went in the grave, you had power. But you, ra you was raised with that power. Oh, God, and now we have that power, the Holy Ghost dwelling within us. We that don't have it, Lord, we ask that you fill us with your spirit. We ask that you save us. Oh, God, give me that same spirit that, 
Christ Jesus that raised him from the dead. Lord, I want that spirit to be in me. You said that spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, he will comfort me. He will strengthen me. He will teach me. He will guide me. He will make intercessions for me. He'll be there with me. He will never leave me. Lord, I want your spirit in me on today. I want to invite you to come into my life and live in me. Lord, whatever it is that I need from you, God, I can look to you. I can look to the hills from whence coming my help, but my help coming from the Lord. Those that are sick in your bodies, I ask God right now, Lord, touch their bodies. The one that's burdened, God, I ask right now that you lift their burden. The one that's going through right now, I ask that you give them the strength to go through. Oh, God, you said many of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. And, Lord, let them know that they are not alone, but they have you. And when we have you, we have everything that we need. I speak to you right now. I declare, I proclaim the blessings of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever you are right now, I proclaim the blessings of God. Receive it right now. Amen. I can't be there where you are, but he said he sent his word to them, and he healed them, and he delivered them from all their destruction. Oh, he said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Whatever your burden is, not all physical, mental, physical, emotional, whatever it is, receive God. Let him do it right now. Oh, God, we proclaim it. We declare it in Jesus' name, and we thank you for it. We walk in the newness. We walk in the newness. Not the feeling, but we walk in the newness. The feeling will come in time, but we walk in the newness of your spirit. Renew me, Lord. Strengthen me. Hold me up in the name of Jesus, and I will receive the blessing I'm waiting on. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank God for that powerful word on today. There is power in waiting on God. I don't know about you, but I have a list of things that I'm waiting on God to do. And I am waiting with great expectation. I hope you are waiting with great expectation. And we're looking for testimonies. I know that we're in this storm, but we're looking for testimonies of victory. So we thank God in advance for that. Um, we want to also um, recognize all those that gave prayer requests on uh, Facebook today. We want you to know that we are praying for you and we'll keep you in our th thoughts and our prayers. Um, also, I want to give a special shout out to our audio and tech team slash ministry. Um, those of you may not be aware, but uh, we have upgraded our video technology, so we are using a different format to bring you this service. So we thank God for that and for all those that are working behind the scenes to keep the church going. Uh, we want to remind you that we have our YouTube channel so you can keep connected with us through YouTube throughout the week as well as through Facebook and then um, Bible study on Tuesdays via Zoom this week. I don't believe there are any other announcements. So thank you for joining us. God bless you. And we will turn it over to Elder Boss for closing prayer and song. Or one more time. This song just says, Jesus promised. It goes along with the message. While you're waiting, just believe that Jesus promised he would take care of you. First church, y'all know this song. Y'all can help. We're just going to do a, the old folks say do a verse and a chorus and be done with it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, how wonderful it is. Jesus promised. Jesus promised he'll take care of me. Take it personal. Oh, how marvelous it is. Yeah. Jesus promised he'll take care of me. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about the things ahead. Altos. Sopranos. And believe in what he said. I can call him in the morning. I hear you. Come on. And when I call him, oh, it does not matter. How big? Jesus promised he'll take care of me. Oh, Jesus promised. Now, Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you for another beautiful day, oh God. We thank you for allowing us, God, to participate in this service. 
Lord, we thank you for every song. We thank you for your word. We thank you for these musicians that are here today, God. We thank you for every participant, oh God. You know every situation. You know every story, oh God. Lord, thank you for the word that came, God. Lord, teach us how to wait on you, God. You've been doing great things in the midst of our storm. But Lord, one day you're going to bring us out. And we will have testimonies of victory. But in, until you do, oh God, keep a praise in our heart. Keep us with the faith, God, the, the trust, the same trust we had in you before COVID came. Lord, help us to trust you even more, oh God. We pray for every situation. Those we know about, those we don't. Lord, we just ask right now that you make the crooked places straight. Turn the bitter water sweet. Do things that only you can do, oh God. And when you do it, let the people know that it was you that you did it, oh God, and help them return it by praise and thanksgiving unto you. And we ask, Lord, that you prepare us and bless us for the rest of this day. Keep us from hurt, harm, and danger. Until next time, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have an awesome day. God bless you. Love you. Jesus promised he'll take care of me, 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 me. Jesus promised he'll take care of me. Oh, Jesus promised he'll take care of me. Woo!